Welcome back, everyone, to a slightly laggy Equestria War. I'm your host, Mr. Olenian, Changeling, Commonwealth Lover, but as you can see, the Lunar Empire ain't doing so well. Honestly, the main front here, with infantry, mostly has a couple, two Jaeger divisions, we've been pushing it very well. It just hasn't stopped. Over here, though, we cleaned up a lot of the area, but uh, we've let Chirup Terra like, run around a whole bunch and then try to destroy a lot of convoys at the same time, so we finally cleaned up the Vapor Front uh, project over here, and our Navy's done a pretty, good, pretty darn good job. <clears throat> Uh, this bar has learned a lot, um, but as you can see, we're doing quite well. Not too bad of a campaign so far. A couple issues here and there, but you know, what else is new? Uh, but we're just trying to clean things up. The Lunar Empire is about to collapse, thank God. But it really wasn't too bad. Also, we've been mobilizing more. We're on extensive conscription, and we've gone down... No, not this one. Um, I went down with Kampfgruppe, but then Desperate Defense, because we get a lot more population, and we're going to need it. Because Modern Blitzkrieg is alright, it's not bad, you get more organization. So we sacrifice 10 more organization. But then eventually we get down here too, so we get more organization later anyway, so I don't, it doesn't really matter too much to me, so. Um, oh, and there we go. I love how we can start and then capitulate them. Also, we were in War of New Maryland, but Wing Bardi went to War of them too, so I'm not concerned about them. There's Chirp Terry down there too in Zerantia, but really for the Lunar Empire, I want them all. Um, how many points do we have? Negative 3,000. Okay, that's not ideal. Uh,. I don't really care about New Maryland, so... Cheer up, cheer up doesn't really concern me either. Oh, that's going to take a while to do, isn't it? Uh, let's see... Oh, God. I apologize for this. It's going to take a while to get there. But honestly, we've still got some focuses that we still need to do anyway, so... We're getting there slowly but surely. Um, as long as we get all of this territory. Honestly, though, I'm not sure if I would really want to release Equestria. We could, just for the sake of the focus tree, perhaps. Uh, oh god, I go back and do all this stuff. I do want the navy though. The navy was, well, I guess not that great. It was okay. Yeah. There we go. What else can we claim? So there's them. Um, I wouldn't mind you up here, I guess. I really don't care about New Maryland. I really don't. So. We still have 700 left. So I guess we could take Zerantia since we're down there anyways. Um, this would be really kind of a dick move to do. There you go. Just cause. Oh, that's a lot of score. Holy cow. How much score do we have left? Oh, we've got quite a bit, don't we? Can we take and demand all that? Yeah. So we've got a lot of score left after that. Alright, let's see. Select all, select all. Alright, that was probably way too much to take, but that's alright. So now I left with a quarter million, tons of population. Uh, Van Hoover, oh, Van Hoover attacks. Rebellious communist militants from the secessionist state of Van Hoover have launched a daring raid against our defenses, clearly intending to seize territory. We should protect our lands from this attack, but if we are occupied elsewhere, it might be wiser to retreat and let the enemy gain control of some of our territory. The lives are more valuable than land after all. Defend the land at all costs. Upper Unicorn? Upper Unicorn. Uh, Y'all better get down here fast. You didn't do too bad, but you're going to go there anyways. There you go. Congratulations. Um, wow. There's a lot of uh, extra stuff here. We need a lot of armored cars, too. We got radar integration. This is pretty nice. Uh, it's a little ahead of time there. Um, sure, why not? Let's give it some time. We've been embargoed. I wouldn't mind, like, bringing some places, I guess, you know. Subjects, exile governments. Uh, just because I do want to do some of these focuses here, too. Hmm. Because we got five research slots now, which is pretty nice. So I guess, well, you know what? We'll liberate Equestria. How about that? Everyone else, I want to eat, maybe. 
Cherubtera, Crystal Empire, Lunar Empire. Well, if we release them, do they become the Lunar Empire? Or do they actually become the Equestria? That's a good question. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Because it's going to eat up a lot of manpower. It's going to eat up a lot of... No, a lot of stuff that we have here. And I don't want to eat up all of our resources and whatnot. Because I want Equestria back. I don't think it's going to be, work very well for this. Oh, retain states with a core, yeah. Retain states with a core. That's, that's a nice option to actually have. Is that normal? Or new lunar something here. Grand Equestrian Republic. There's that. And they have this territory. Why do they have this territory down here too? It's a bit weird. So we do this. Or mayor, 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 mayor. Pale Haven of Ponykind. Treating with Skyfall. Spark and knowledge. War of two sisters. <clears throat> Terror bombings. Yay. Why does this go away? By the end of the oh, question national. Oh, martial law. War plan. Queen of the battlefield. Equestrian Games. So this should be Equestria. Buffalo Relations. Does that open up this path? It does. Okay, so I'm okay with that then. Uh, we're going to defend the land at all costs. And that saves us manpower and whatnot. These other areas, though. You know? We could use some new territory. Friendship is magic. Uh, Fancy Pants elected office. Good job, Fancy Pants. Oh, hello. Are you down here yet? Oh, well, I guess we sacrificed it. Alright, then. I don't like that. <clears throat> and that should cause some world tension. Should it not? So, I guess we're all going to come here, then. And do this. Oh, we lost it. Oh, because we're not even defending it. Are we, really? Can we just find them, then? Oh, come on. Harmonious nations and members of factions lead, led by Harmonious Nation can't just fight war goals against countries that have not generated world tension. You just took territory away from us. Brosif. Oh, are we missing military factories? Oh, yeah, we are. Uh, that's the case. We're building the uh, thing in favor front just because that was good for uh, uh, repairs and whatnot, but we definitely need more military factories now. Oh, yeah, look at this. Nice. Uh, you have any subs? No? There we go. Shove them all in there. Oh, we actually have a carrier. Crap, we have to make planes now? All right, then. There you go. Boom. Did it. Boom. Ten out of ten, nice. Train, and you guys are subs, which is fine with me. Good job. Go train too. And please don't die. For love of God, stop dying. Uh, hello. Yeah, you should probably all repair. Yeah, go home and repair. If they keep taking territory, uh, I'm going to use cons commands and manually kill them off myself. Because that's not fair. We just earned all that territory. I get out of here real quick. Because there's a lot, not a lot of good supply around here. Because um, would this not cause world tension? I mean, seriously, would this seriously not cause any world tension? This makes no sense. Because if they keep taking territory, I will go beat them up. Now, uh, closer to Equestria. For many moons, changing some opponents have been mortal enemies. However, with a new leader following away a governing elite, or a qu governing quite similar to those of the ponies, it may be possible for diplomacy. If we can establish an embassy with the questions, it may open up possibilities for the future of our two nations. Which would be a good thing to do. Non aggression pact. Fear of changing attacks is something etched in a pony populace ever since Crystals attempted to invade the Crystal Empire. With the signing of an official pact of non aggression, we can help us sewage this fear, making ponies much more friendly to us. The question changing friendship. With the warming relations between our two nations, business opportunities once are impossible now are becoming a very real possibility. The economies of both the question and our nation are benefiting well from this law. Or from this law. That's not ideal. Um, offer changing advisory staff. The ponies, while a powerful emperor, are quite stagnant military wise. However, a military staff are well versed in many doctrines and could help educate new friends in the ways of war. Equus Trade Pact. Was already an intermingling between pony and changing's business. By officially signing a trade agreement with the ponies, we can encourage us even more and join Equestria. Or have them join us. It's about time that we formalize a friendship with Equestria and join the military alliance. The times of fear between changing's and ponies are long gone. In this new age, we shall stand together as staunch allies. And in the face of all threats, influence the bears. We must begin to assert influence on the neighbors. By bringing the bears in the north closer to harmony, we may gain a new friend. Influence Yakistan. The Yaks are a race constantly brought in conflict between their autocratic tribal leaders. We must help those poor souls and bring them closer to our deal of harmony. You will be harmonious or harmonious by force. And now we're down here too. 
Um, sure. Why not? You all train. You guys generally did a pretty good job overall. It's not too bad overall. And yeah, not bad. Goodbye. Infantry template. Uh, how many more do we need here? Armored cars are looking very good. Nice. How many more do we need now? 1900 drops down to that much. Oh, look at that. Keep killing each other, huh? Not too bad. It does burn up a lot of our army XP, but I don't care. At this point in the campaign, it doesn't really matter too much. More light tanks? Sure, why not? Medium tanks. Super close. Camel Trader, more breakthrough? Sure, why not? Sounds good to me. Um, there you go. We have six divisions. Six is enough. That's good enough. Economic policy, political actions, propaganda efforts. Oh. Look at agent recruitment, we don't need that. Hello? Loud attack, armor, speed. Oh, let's get more speed. I think the armor probably be the best to do. Fall over a million, alright. Reliability is good too. Oh, so we'll have to use consummates commands for that. Oh, it contains sailing grabs. Sailing grabs routinely used as cast as belly of spreading the workers' revolution to threaten otherwise intimidate everyone else on the continent. We must stop them. Human resource development, the combined industry of both their nations allow for each to cover their other's weaknesses as to help promote further growth. Your Heartland Dockyards. Oh, hello. Sailing Grim. Olenians are well known for the shipbuilding traditions, while changeling naval tradition is sparse and our dockyards similar. Promoting the growth of the shipbuilding industry in Olenia might allow us to establish a presence on the seas and Sakara dockyards. A good spot in Sakara that's perfect for uh, expanding our shipbuilding industry has recently been found. This project will cost us little and pay back dividends and costs saved on ships. Absolutely. So, how, what are they doing? Polar Bear Social uh, Communities, of course. Uh, it doesn't seem like we've got that long here. Um, as long as they're done taking stuff to, for now, I'll take them out later, probably. No guarantee. That's not ideal. Because there's still a lot of enemies we got to fight, so. Go high there, and Pentagonidia is... It's not bad. Uh, these Jaegers only have so much army XP, but they look fine. There you go. Because yeah. if we can move fast enough in the south, we can, the north won't matter. There's holes there too, but it won't matter. We can shove you in the north here. Hopefully it won't matter too much. And that's the only barrier we have, that's fine. Uh, that being said, looking alright up here. Just in case. Any supply issues that we could come across? Honestly, it doesn't look too bad around here, maybe except for here. Do that. That's how long it takes them to go to actually go to war with us and whatnot. Railway guns, armor train two. Oh, second armor train, huh? Yes, we've had one armor train, but how about a second armor train? Um We're Harmonist, but it really doesn't matter if we choose Institute Press Censorship. We still have another option here though. Cabinet of Industry. You know what, we're building this stuff up, why not? Engineers, nice. Uh, let's go over here. Yeah, why not? Night vision, good. Hardness, yeah, that'd be smart to do. I'm not sure when they want to go to war, so we'll have to watch that. Uh, what do you got here? More sub stuff, nice. Ships, good. This guy Navy Burns, nice. Puppeted. Anything else? We got a few more left here. Let's see what's going on in uh, Stalingrad. Got a lot of divisions, of course. Question changing friendship, good. Equus trade pact, yes. Unknown focuses. Let's see what they got. For farmer markets, simple bureaucracy, mater materialist manifesto, sinister conscription, the palace of the Soviets, workers' culture, 
Wow. Socialist culture, worker socialist culture, pioneers. That's very good too. Wow, holy cow. Uh, secret police, pretty normal. Ideological crusaders. That seems... That makes sense, I guess, you know, technically. Philadelphia. Oh, oh, there's fancy pants. Well-connected diplomat. Oh, there you go. One more will be good there. Keep building yourselves up. And they went to war with us. Okay. Well. They've gone to war with us. Wait, not our... Uh, and then they go to war with their puppet? No, not yet. Let's see what happens. Do they attack us through the polar bear communities? No. But can we attack them? Uh, yes. Aris. Aris. That's okay. So how about we stop training? Repair. Repair. Oh, we got several carriers. Look at that. Can you not go through here? Oh, you can. Oh, wait. Duh. I didn't give him orders. Hold first. Three, two, one. Bop. Good enough. Uh, they have militia. The Grand Galloping... Gala, does a good job, guys. It seems like we don't have to go to war with them. Or our ally doesn't have to go to war with them. Oh, military police. Get some more suppression, huh? We'll acquire magical infantry equipment instead of ma infantry equipment. And use sense spells more effectively suppress resistance. Interesting. Huh. Do not know that. Oh, God, this is not going to be very good, is it? Well, we have to the polar bear stuff. I'm not sure if we're going to really use it, but, you know, we'll see. If they go to war with Equestria itself, we should be ready. Yeah, they don't have enough divisions. I mean, they have divisions on that front, but... Come on, Aris. Aris, help us out. There you go. Well, we wanted to go to war with them eventually anyway, so... It's not really a big old surprise now, is it? Pass the defense and we're done. Nice. Tons of Fausts. Happy 10 14, everybody. We've been embargo, but whatever. Hey, we made it all the way to the sea over here. Look at that. Alright. So, you're gonna take all that off. You can come over here and do all this, maybe, and then just come sail over here, maybe. Not bad. Anything here that's important? Nope. Any extra planes we could send maybe their way? There you go. Oh, you're definitely going to need some extra air bases, aren't you? You know what? Make one up here too. Good. So far. Keep them in place, yes. Hello? Ah, advanced light tank chassis, nice. How many medium tanks do we got? Armor cards come pretty good, medium tanks. Not quite a thousand yet. Not even quite 100 yet. Nice. Ooh. Fuel usage, speed. And free infrastructure. It's not really free. Could contain them. But let's do that one instead. Ah. Adaptable, that's good. Yeah. Restoration of Carinthia. Not bad. Different. Very good. Oh, where are they going? Oh, there's another one here, too. Here, better advance anti air is fine. Ignore some of the naval stuff too. Oh, hello. Of course, we are we did just doctor guys, we didn't do anything with them. Oh, 
Hello. There we go. Give we guys some time. It's gonna take some time to do all that stuff. And less self visibility, more range. Sounds good to me. Hello. Well, we're moving well in the north. Low head of time there. More decryption here. Very nice. It's low head of time. Break all cannons. And whatnot. This is going to be really frustrating to get rid of. Because we know they don't have enough strength up there. Keep them in place. Keep welding down their strength. We should be okay. There goes the Roman Carrier. Not bad. And even more population. We can honestly probably lower our conscription level too. So with these guys, we, oh they have like no divisions. Look at that. All right, that's guess we just call them in. Yeah, we don't have them on the full front, but whatever. Yeah, division for division, we absolutely pounce them. Yeah, look at that. The V card has been wounded. It's fine. He's learning. That's all I can ask him to do is just learn, 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 learn. They can move through here, but it won't be very long before we actually get all the way through there ourselves. So, hey, large destroyer destroyed. Torpedo boat destroyed. Very good. Hey, we actually made it over. Look at that. Fantastic. See, I told you we could make it. God dang it! Come on. Come on, do it. Come on, get rid of them. God dang it, come on. You're not allowed to lose, so just do your job. Eh, this looks like cancer here. This looks like some serious cancer. Ugh. Any more ships? Ah, an actual battleship. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh, we're losing convoys here. How do they have ships over here? Well, Stalingrad, you're gonna die over here no matter what. Why are we? Why are we sitting? Hold on. Why are we in the ocean? Why are we sitting anything here? That makes no sense to me. Hello? Are you gonna do your job? Come on. This guy's been kind of pathetic. Not gonna lie. Yeah, people's good. Because of supply. Supply. Oh. Is that it already? Holy cow. I think we're the only contenders here, right? Yeah. Um. Well, that was fast. Okay then. Way faster than I thought what it would be. Alrighty, um well we got a lot of got a lot of different little uh, trinkets here to use. We got this here, subs. There you go. There you go. Um I guess we're gonna do a lot of things here. We're gonna do the non aggression pack too. Ban the Brax, maybe? Better anti air. Is there territory we can get give them to? Because we don't have to own all this. Oh, look at that. What is this? Renamed Stalingrad. James of Trotersburg. Caramel Marx changed his name to Vladimir. And Ally Talon gets his original name back. Sure. Oh, wow. Um. All right. Well, can we give some of? Uh, there you go. There you go, guys. 
Feel better now? Is that better? Yeah, we're doing alright over here too. We got quite a bit of compliance. Enjoy that. Um... Alright, then, uh, cool. Another Jaeger division? Oh, a lot, oh, a lot more divisions, because I thought it would be much more difficult. Utilitarian architecture? That's my type of architecture, man. Um, I guess fuel, because we're going to have a bigger navy. I guess we can do a couple of these focuses. Uh, I do like, would like to finish the ones with Equestria, though. Because a lot of this doesn't even really matter. I mean, like I said, they're just blueprints, so... There's no real reason to even do these. We don't even need forts or coastal forts. Massive naval purchase. There's every navy before the Civil War. Christmas and those still loaded are scuttled it before we could take it. As a result, we'll have to purchase spaceships, or spare ships, not spaceships, from our neighbors. And these are just blueprints, so. Yeah. Huh. Are we missing anything here? Pazir burn armor. Spend the Vrax arsenal is good. Uh, Destralize the north, sure. Like I said, I'm still not going to have to use cons commands, but that's fine. Oh god, we got a lot of things done here. Vermilion Empire can proclaimed, huh? Well, here you can do that one, I guess. Speed. I like speed. Reliability, sure. There you go. I guess. More ground attack. And the infantry division, I guess. Are we suffering any attrition here? No? Okay. Shrinkage stoppage. Yeah, let's go back to uh, the conscription. Um, so there's those. I guess at this point, there's really no point since we already took over the polar bear communities. It's clear that we can now persuade the bears of a way of thinking peacefully. We're using infiltration by friendly forces, exchanging a bear alike, we can swiftly execute a coup. And they have the Yak coup, which we both wanted to do. The violent Yak warlord refused to give up the powers of the people. We must infiltrate them inside a coup, it's all friendly government, and harmony is non negotiable. Our commitment to the cause of harmony is crystal clear. We must support any oppressed people around the world in their fight for freedom. Well, which would have given us war weekly wars, but we're already at 100%. Even though we've taken almost 25% due to convoys raiding combat casualties, uh, it's alright. And even just for Wurgle's times, it doesn't even have that. We can send volunteers, but that's, I, I guess, pretty much it for us. I mean, there's nothing else here for us, really. We've done everything that we pretty much can. Um, we don't technically have a faction, and technically I do want to take these guys out too, but... It, it really doesn't matter too much, in all honesty. We could, but then have them unified under us, but still. I guess we could have unified all these people together as well, but... Uh, I'm not going to really bother with them. Even though I still want to sometime do the Confederacy. That sounds like a lot of fun. Baltimore Republic. Golden Delicious. So... Uh, I think that's probably it for us. Trans Equestrian Railway. What else? Do they have anything else here? I mean, the Crystal Empire is dead, of course. Support Harmony. Well, they can't, since we own them. Southern Roads. Protect Alenia. Well, they can't do that either, because we took them out. Strike at Sombra supporters. Crystal Empire is dead. Uh, e -E -A. Yeah, we've pretty much done everything we can here. The New Equestrian Republic. Move popular discontent. Um, the Declaration of Self-Determination. Charter of the Republic. non Pony Power. Harmony isn't what it used to be. Bastion of Harmony. The Arsenal of Harmony. So, I guess that's pretty much it, yeah. It's been a lot of fun. This was way easier than I thought it would. Wow, the Griffonian Empire is gigantic. And obviously, uh, this has not been as difficult as it used to be in the way, way couple years ago when it, things were really difficult to get to uh, Thorax. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.